gentlemen and beyond. How are you guys doing today? Ah! My name is Anima. Welcome to Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator by the Game Grumps. I'm... Oh, God. I am beside myself. I've been looking forward to this ever since... Uh, the world found out about it. Me and everybody. I can't believe this is real. I just can't believe this is real. Like, how perfect is this? It's so perfect. They're so perfect. Look at them. They're so great. I actually haven't looked at, like, any of the information pertaining to it because I want to react to everything super freshly. All I know is that you're really attractive. And <laughs> they're, all, they're all stupid attractive, actually. And, um... This is gonna ruin me. This is gonna ruin me, and if you suspect that you might get ruined too, come with me down the rabbit hole of dads, down the daddy hole. Let's descend deeply into daddom. Mmm. New game, continue, gallery, options, quit. I always feel compelled to read these as if it's interesting. I'm gonna go to options because stream is safe mode. Thank you! Oh my god! Oh. Okay, everyone's gonna say this. Whoever is that's playing or streaming this or whatever. I'm such a fan though of the Game Grumps. Everyone's gonna say that. But I really love them. I saw them live once. I was this close to high-fiving Danny Sex Bang, but he didn't, he, he didn't, he, he just stopped at me. It made me really sad, but still. It was a really great show. It was so good. They're so funny and so lovely and great and, I just love them. But you're not here to, to listen to me wax poetic about the Game Grumps. Go and check them out if you don't know them somehow. I'll link their channel in the description. They are so great and so funny and they just never cease to amaze and make me smile. Let's hit new game. Oh my God, look at the aesthetic. Always use a coat of wax after watch. By the way, these dad tips have been going on at the bottom there and they've just been really entertaining. It appears we are sleeping, or somebody is sleeping. Done. <laughs> Done. Wake up. <laughs> I don't think that's how she should sound. Wake up. Pretend to be dead. Or oh, five more minutes. Uh, we could go with pretend to be dead. That would be a bit of a scare. Um. No, I'm just going to wake up because I'm boring. I finally open my eyes and sit up. Oh my god, she's cool. She's got the like hipster vibe going on. I like the tree on your top. Is that a fried egg? She's the best. <laughs> I've only opened my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. Very romantic. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Ah, that's cute! Aww. Is that how she sounds? Okay, that's it. You've set the president. Yikes. Dad breath. Go and brush your teeth. I don't know. I don't think that's how she's going to sound. I don't know. Okay. Practice makes permanent. That's good. That's always better Feel advice. That dad. <laughs> Looking good, daddy. Okay, let's decide our bod. We got the standard sexy bod. We've got the thick tank bod. We've got the slim tank bod. They're all tanks. Are they all tanks? Oh, <laughs> I was going to freak out. I was like, are they all tanks? Uh, athletic binder bod. Ooh, he's looking really good. A thick binder bod and a slim binder bod. I think I'm going to... Really, I'm just... Oh, that's just brilliant. Look at his little face. He's like, ooh. Um, I don't really... Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. Oh, yes. Uh, he's not changing color with every every rapid click I make, which is disappointing, but good. But probably good, because otherwise we would have a rainbow colored dad. And I, actually, is that such a bad thing? Is that such a bad thing? I think we're going to go with a nice, um, I don't know. What should we go with? Ooh, that's quite pretty. I like that. <laughs> heads! Heads! Lots of heads indeed. I am a fan of heads! I like that shape. That's quite nice and just ugh, nice and balanced and even. This is good. A nice, uh, a nice brow with a sort of little, uh, sort of looks like a spoon. Anyway, very masculine. Oh, this one is actually very masculine. Triangle head, chin head. I like that they all have names. Chin head. Is that <laughs> That's just the head. It's defined by the chin. That is very great. They look like, ooh, ooh the, the, <laughs> a bit of facial structure. I think I'm talking between this one and this one. This one is just... Let's go with chin head because how could we ever resist hair? Um, 
I'm gonna have to do something about those eyes because I can't, I can't really see it right now. Let's go with the eyes. Downturned eyes to maximum slow seduction. Droopy eyes, edgy, eggy eyes, edgy eyes. <laughs> Heart eyes, hooded eyes, monolid eyes. Oh, very pretty. Narrow eyes. Oh, that's pretty cool. You could be like skeeving around all the time. Like, yes, yes, yes. Uh, salty eyes. Why are they salty? What makes them salty? I agree though. Shiny eyes. That's cute. Slick eyes. Slick eyes. Wow. I kind of love it. <laughs> I kind of love it. I'm not really sure what to go with. Space Warrior. That's so Dragon Ball Z. Could you literally make Goku and romance them as Goku? That's fucking, that's the best. Um, I quite like the hooded eyes right now. I'm not really sure. I'm sort of torn between the monolid eyes and the hooded eyes. Fucking hell. Yes, he looks seductive and beautiful. Let's pick a nose. You got a cute little button nose. I love this. I love that he's like there like, hello, you are creating me. In the way I am the dad to this dad. That's like dadception or something. Let's look at these sexy noses. Hawk nose. Ah, I'm quite endeared to that. I think that's like the nose that my dad has. So, a Mirren nose. Mirren. I feel like that's a slang for something I don't really know. Snub nose. Wow, it's so selfish. It's like I can only smell what I want to smell. A rumple nose and a Roman nose. I think I actually really like the snub nose. Please help me. I like the snub nose. Or the Greek nose. Hmm. Let's go with the Greek nose because it's very like, Rah! and I like that. I like to be able to sharpen my axe on uh, my facial features. It's always good. A cheese mouth. That's <laughs> very nice. A little Cupid's mouth. Oh yeah. Full mouth. Oh my god. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to resist that. That's really quite. That's really quite something. Gap tooth mouth. It's me. <laughs> It's me. Pot pouty mouth. Oh, I thought it was potty mouth. Liver mouth. Kitty mouth. I really like that. I really do like that. Hamburger. Mmm. <laughs> Salty. Oh, it's like a pirate. It'll probably make a pirate if you put it all together. The slim mouth is very sexy. The smirk mouth. The thing is, lads, so I've been torn, right? As we have been building this dad. I've been torn between being like, oh, let's make it funny. Or like... Let's just get really into it and like be serious, sort of. Well, serious as you can be, not like, no, it has to be to my specification. But I think I actually really want to like slightly take it seriously. I like want to make a genuine like cool guy. <laughs> I don't know, okay? I don't know, it's come over me. I find I have more fun if I get like super, super into something. I really like this one though. But I think for the sake of being an attractive dad, we're just gonna have a nice slim mouth. Mm, yes, brows, baby. Give me that yeah! Give me that realness! Wild brows. I like my brows to reflect my uh, my personal straight. Not in this game. Let's go pick something else. Danny brows. I'm fucked. There it is. That's it. Bye. That's it. That's all I want. Facial hair. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe a game exists where I can pick Danny Sex Bang's eyebrows. That's just fantastic. Ah! I couldn't even click on the other one, so I was too endeared by this. I wish there was a stubble option. Why is there no stubble option? That does make me a little bit sad. Um, but of course, of course, there's the horseshoe option but, and the French fork before there is a stubble option. I guess we can't be too, too try hard to, oh, he's like a little, he's like a little, he's like a little bandito. Why did I skip over the hair? What the fuck? <laughs> I just like, yeah, no, that's it. This is happening. Um, oh my Lord, very nice. But I think there, there is already a character that kind of has the man bun look going on. And I don't really want to be a copy of the other dads. I want to be my own unique dad. Do you know what I mean? Just expressing myself uniquely. Eric, daddy. I didn't realize when I picked that that it was Aaron's hair. That's really cute. That's way too cute. Uh, curls with a Z. Very good. Very trendy and hip. I could look like Duke Nukem if I want to. Uh, peaky. Natural. Locks. Oh boy, that's my favorite type of bagel. Pompadour. I might. <laughs> I might just have to. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Leon hair. Swoopy hair. Oh, he's too, he's too good. The blonde is really distracting me. Oh my goodness. He, it doesn't change all of them. That's really jarring. Um, yes. Okay. 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 I gave him a little no stud person because he's a stud of my right. 
And uh, I think this is so cool that you have all these options. It's really awesome. Okay, I like it. I like it. It's a bit hip. It's a bit trendy. It's a bit hippity hoppity, you know, words for that meaning. Clothing. Who needs that? Use this option. Let's go. No, we should pick something. Fried egg. Egg nips. Egg nips. There's a reason why he looks like this, by the way, with his pink hair. Um, actually, I really, is it's in homage to a Dark Souls character I've made. And those of you who have been watching me for some time will probably be able to guess what we're going to name him if we have the option. <laughs> if we have the option to name him, we know. I'll tell you later if we do get the option. But yes, I just, I think it's great. I think he's, oh, oh, fucking shit. He looks be- oh my god. We're, woo! we're doomed, we're doomed. Baby suit, party suit. Oh my god. This is so good though. Oh, that's, that's really cool. It really works. Oh shit. It really works. I love it. But I must have a look at all the other options. I love that there's Aaron clothes. This is just classified as Aaron clothes. It's got the Bergie. I love you, Bergie. Underoos. Can we just have underoos forever? Underoos forever. I do like this plain white tee though. Um, I don't know. I'm absolutely screwed. I have no idea which one to pick. This is a fucking disaster. You know, I've been clicking around for quite some time. You'd be shocked actually how long I've been clicking around. I keep coming back to the kitten suit, the egg nips, and the Aaron clothes. I'm absolutely just besotted. I just don't know what to pick. I really like the plain white tee, but I feel like it's a bit too plain. I know it's not a very clever thing to say, but the thing is I do. I do feel like it's, I want to express myself and I think eggy nipples is the best way to go. Looking good, daddy! Name that dad. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Let's fucking go! Nubus, uh, last name, Nubus McNipples Stash. Fucking shit. <laughs> Nubus, Nubus, Nubus! I'm delighted. I am delighted! Nubus is a legendary name around here, for those of you who are uninitiated. And Nipstash, I think that's that's what I had to settle with. I really wanted McNipple Stash, but that was far too long and flowing, and this is why we can't have nice things, so I'm gonna go and cry into, um my nipples i love it i think he's perfect i think he's beautiful i do kind of want to change the color of his eyes because it's the blue doesn't quite match let's hang on daddy and uh, <laughs> pick something oh i wish there was a slightly green oh oh that looks so lovely he looks so great oh dear i am doomed the nubus in my mind has always had like blue eyes though I think we should stick with that because it Name matches his shirt. Dad. Name that dad, Nubus Nipstash. Let's be that Name dad. That he's dad. so oh, he's beautiful. Liquor before beef, you're in the clear. <laughs> Words to live by. Did you fall asleep packing? Yes, I did, Amanda. I got, oh yeah, there we are with our nips. I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Yes. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh, it's a baby! <laughs> that's the coolest baby I've ever seen. I think that's how you're gonna sound now. The only way your father and I, oh, the only way your mother and I, um, the only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. <laughs> but whenever we tried to take them off, we'd start crying again. I, d I think that's just how he's going to sound now. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Halloween when you were maybe four. Oh my. This is too much. <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess Dragon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. <laughs> Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth is a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. <laughs> right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. And this was you and your horse phase. A horse phase! Oh my god, this is too cute. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at all the horses everywhere. Everyone goes through a horse phase or some sort of animal phase. I went through a wolf phase. I'm still in it. Oh, dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think that was his. So, horsing to the baby, like, by cancer. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your scar band. Ouch, kid. <laughs> <laughs> this communist manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. <sighs> no, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. <laughs> this is so cute. What a great start, honestly. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. <sighs> Dad, Emma R has been my friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Tried to steal people's pets. Emma P peed everywhere. So is that is that why she's Emma P? Um, fried a fry fired. My God, fried a tennis ball. Delicious. Fired a flaming tennis ball at a police station. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. Aww. I mean that fits. Oh. <laughs> Orcs. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that was me. I did that. Oh. Oh. No. Hmm. And I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. She never told anyone, though. True blue, that Emma R. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R. Later. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying goodbye. Got the tone wrong entirely. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. <laughs> McFridays? It's like teacher photos my dog. And then he got food poisoning from the cheesy tours. tours, tours, tours. That's too many Z's. I don't think I've seen so many Z's in one place. I think you mean poo- <laughs> Pooed. I got poo on the brain now. That's not- that's not a thing. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. Dad. <laughs> Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. <laughs> Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait a minute, are we a single dad? <sighs> I finally decide to break the silence. Oh, wait a minute, I'm lost, I'm confused. Wait, are you not around anymore? This is really sweet. Day you were born, this was the day we adopted you? Oh, I don't know. I don't really know, I feel like it's more likely that. Oh, that's really sweet. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him, he says. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Uh, he was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss him, no! I can't even imagine what it must have been like for, a, uh, what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Ah, come on, pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Ah, my God, way to just like destroy me. Oh, oh, it's so cute, the little. Oh, everything about this is great. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Mm. Wow. Hey, remember when I shared the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Like, she didn't even... She didn't even throw the ball at the window, she just punched it because she felt like it. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. <laughs> hey, remember when I broke the back window play- <laughs> We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> There'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Huh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So? So what? Hmm. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. All right. 
Nestled in the beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features washer and dryer hookups, a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. <laughs> multiple places to sleep. <laughs> Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. <laughs> what a deal. I mean, a sleep one for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. <laughs> She's really cool. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yeah. I think that's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Dust? Yeah, you're a real... Hmm. Don't you dare. Senior. Huh. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Huh. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we need to forge a path through a solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer, we need to go grocery shopping. Uh -huh. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and check the area out. I don't know, Nubis is for some reason, he's, he's very, he's got a... Th thick British accent. I don't know why. It suits him, I think. I think it's mustache. His mustache for some reason inspires me to just go on, just go in on it. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. <laughs> hey <-ya! laughs> She like punches the windows in. And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. <laughs> I got a problem with authority! <laughs> she, she like breaks everything. There's a Molotov at the door. It's a fucking. Man, all that karate chopping turkered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Yeah. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. How about a knuckle sandwich? No, I don't. I don't know why. Why is it always violence? I'm just really inspired by the breaking windows, apparently. We need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? Ah! <laughs> You know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog-to-person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. <laughs> I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG to rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot already. DOG! Oh. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> hmm. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. It's like, it looks uncannily like a dog. If you want to see a real dog so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Oh my God, are we gonna meet our first honey? Oh my God, we're gonna meet our first honey. I bet, I hope, please. Oh my God, please. Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government operative. <laughs> baby like pulls out a gun. <laughs> We're on to you, baby. <laughs> we walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the pray pray playground. Oh, the playground. Why? And dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when. I don't know why it's, it's still Amanda. It's Amanda talking to herself. She's gone insane! Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof. A corgi- Oh god! <laughs> a corgi with a neat plaid. I don't even know how to say that. I've heard people say it plaid, and but it's spelled plaid. So I'm gonna say plaid until someone corrects me. Tied around its neck, bounds up to me, wagging its tail. That's like one of the dating options. He's like, yes. <laughs> Hello, did you throw this thing at my head? I like your necktie. Rough. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh God, this is the cutest dog. Can I help you? 
Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Pet the dog. I want to pet the dog, but knowledge is power! Woof woof. How long do I have left? How did you know? Do you have tomorrow's lottery numbers? I think, how did you know? It's really great. Morph. <laughs> the shit I'm supposed to be. Morph. My god. This dog knows more than he lets on. <laughs> you definitely could have caught that. Oh. Oh! It's our first daddy! <laughs> it's our first daddy. Here he is. With all of his hair. I think he has more hair on his chest than I have over my entire body. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Hey. You know, frisbees aren't traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Oh dear, he's an asshole. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. I think I'm gonna go with that. You caught me off guard on this round. Not again. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> the aubergines? What? It's like flying out of him. <laughs> He's not actually an asshole. He's just messing with me. Oh, it's a good job we rolled with the punches. Oh my god, we're gonna be crawling in dads by the time this is over. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm screwed. I'm Nubus. And this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy! Uh. Hi! Uh. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll. <laughs> the knoll itself is his daughter, where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Oh. Oh, they're cute. They are cute. This is Daisy. She is reading the Brothers Karamaz- She tells me- her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ah. Ten. She's a precocious little shit. <laughs> she makes everybody uncomfortable. Well, <laughs> My natural dad ki instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. <laughs> oh no, it's happening. Oh no! <laughs> what is this? Go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Oh my god, this is awesome! Um, hi! That's my girl! <laughs> Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Brag. Uh, daughter? Item? Flea. What does that option do? I'm gonna brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Brian needs 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Oh, he's 15 HP? No! Daughter, can't switch daughters. Amanda is your only daughter. Noobs' is HP, 65, Brian's HP. Oh my god, this is so good. Grade card, band-aid, spelling bee, photo, child art. This is so fucking good. Can I go back though? Hmm. Shit, 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 shit. I don't know which one to pick and this is so intense. Spelling bee photo, let's go. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Yikes, you need 5 HP. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Oh, he's killing us. He's killing me. We gotta brag. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful! Yes! The unprompted! Brian loses 20 HP. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe! <laughs> We're taking it out next weekend! How's that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful! You lose 20 HP! No! Fuck's sake! Okay. All right, okay, grade card. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad. 
Awesome, great! Brian loses 25 HP. You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch. Maybe it is kind of weird. <laughs> it's 5 HP. <laughs> Did I mention Daisy said her first win at 10 months? Daddy. Oh, fuck. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You need 10 HP. No, shit. We gotta do something. We gotta do something. Get a band-aid. With a flourish, you produce a band-aid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. She's gonna be like, I'm not even injured. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. Anyone would agree it is an unusual gesture. Fucking shit! No! No! Daisy's got all of her adult teeth! No! 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 No, we're screwed! Oh, damn it! Oh, you got us. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Arr, did you have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Ah. Oh. Damn it! Damn it! We wiped it out. We gotta give him our prize money. Fuck. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Oh. Yeah. We live in that cul-de-sac next to the coffee shop. Ah. What a coincidence. That's where we live too. Small world. Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. It's gonna be like giant, isn't it? I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. God damn it, does this guy have to do me and everything? What a lovely place. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling he was trying to one-up us? Hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her, e her age? He's Nupus is gonna be like, Eating your own shit! Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Aww. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Nipsat! <laughs> <laughs> we love all the horse epic. And walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Go to the coffee shop, go unpack, go take a nap. I have a feeling there is going to be a cutie at the coffee shop, so I'm going to save it right here. Folks, I hope that you have enjoyed this first episode of Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. It has been a real blast to record. I'm going to just like marathon this. This is so good. Let me know your thoughts. Have you got the game? Is there a dad you're particularly interested in? I, ju I don't know. I need to meet all the dads. I can't believe there's like a billion more dads to meet. This is going to be insane. This is adorable. I love Amanda. I love everything. I love that Brian's not actually a giant cunt. He kind of, a little bit, a little bit, makes me feel deeply inferior. But I, li I really like him. I'm excited to see what else is going to happen. Ugh. Thank you so much for watching. For more content like this, check out the links in the description or in the end card that is soon to follow. But absolutely most importantly, folks, take care of yourselves and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.